Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hashtag the Blue Mic English Edition, your independent favorites. This is an initiative by Big FM and Hangama Artists Aloud. I'm RJ Bob, and today with me, I have a singer, a songwriter, and a theater artist, Ankur Sabarwal. Welcome, Ankur. Welcome to the Blue Mic. Hi, Bob. Thanks very much. Lovely to be here. I know my introduction of you is that, you know, it's very short and very abrupt. So can you please help everyone by, uh, you know, giving us a better introduction of yourself and also tell us a little bit about your music? Sure. Um, um, I'm uh, based out of New Delhi, India, and uh, I have been singing and acting on stage since I was 12 or 13 years old. I started off with, you know, musical theater. I did a lot of uh, the adaptations of a lot of the Broadway musicals that would that used to happen in New Delhi. You went to St. Columbus, uh, you know, school in uh, in Delhi, which is, uh, of course, a Christian Brothers Connection, uh, you know, institute. And I myself, I'm uh, from St. Edmunds, which is another Christian Brothers wow, institution here course, in yeah, Shilong. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, 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 so, yeah. so uh, what about what about you? How did the how did the school shape your interests in music? was a huge part of it because again we had you know some of the christian brothers who were you know dealing with the whole music uh, uh, you know quota music music students were very encouraging and you know uh, in fact there was uh, in particular there was a uh, christian brother brother nazareth i don't know whether he was also i think he was in saint edmund as well brother Aubrey nazareth he used to you know teach music you know so just auditioning for the school band and you know singing for the school band and all the school competitions was also such a fantastic experience and you know great to build your confidence and you know just how to you know sing in front of a crowd and those were great yeah i think those were really experiences that shaped your you know my musical you know foundation for sure so uh, let's get to another part and that is uh, you know this is blue mic english edition where we also get to listen to you know your performance live yeah, yeah. So, so would you care to sing a song for us now and before you do that will you please tell us the name of the song should i just start with uh, drifting the new song oh yeah yeah that would be wonderful yeah Love that. Uh, thank you so much, Ankur, for that. Uh, so, Ankur, tell us a little bit about the the artists, you know, uh, who who were beginning, who started to inspire you at that particular time when you were still very young. And can you t also tell us why were they such a big part in your life? Again, my mom was a big uh, inspiration, a big, big factor in getting me into music <clears throat> um, because she really pushed me into getting into theatre. And that's how my whole you know performance journey kind of started with musical theater. Um, and again, school was a big factor, you know, school, performing in the school band um, was also a big factor. So I, you know, loved all the big voices like, you know, Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant and, you know, you know Deep Purple. So um, all these guys were, were big influences because even in my first band, Canzona, we used to, you know, 
it was we used to cover all these artists we would do a lot of journey a lot of dream theater a lot of van halen you know so queen um, deep purple so the classic rock you know voices were definitely a big big influence um so you know like um you know sometimes we do meet people who inspire us and you know who yeah. change uh, you know, sometimes when we feel like we're going one way but then we meet certain people and uh they inspire us to you know change the course of our life or pres- provide some sort of an uh, you know inspiration to us whether it is in life in general or in music or theater so were you lucky enough to meet such people in your life yeah many people yeah so many people you know who you meet maybe earlier on in your life um you know like for example even these theater companies that i was a part of you know uh kids world in the beginning you know lucian dube she was the director of the company and uh very encouraging you know at that time you need someone who you know really handles you <laughs> you know uh in a very sensitive way because you're a child and you know she was she was brilliant and she was she really helped me to you know come out of my shell i was a very shy and reserved kid you know uh i was talented but i was very shy so you know that experience in working with her really helped in you know coming out of my shell then later working with mr george pulinka you know in delhi music theater was also brilliant because you know uh, he uh, was nice enough to cast me in you know leading parts in all his musicals and uh, so you know uh, uh, so to have someone trust you to play those roles and you know uh, really teach you the discipline and the you know the intensity required to you know rehearse and uh, you know do those uh, carry out those roles was also a big learning experience for me so both him uh, and his son ivan polinkala who is also the associate director and choreographer for the company were huge influences you know to the early years you know in theater all right so ankur i think it's time for us to listen to another song from you so uh, what song is it going to be I can play uh, the song from my uh, EP the ride uh, this one's called you and i yeah okay it's about falling in love with somebody or you know uh, getting infatuated by somebody but knowing that it's not really going to work out okay but again it's not a sad song it's you know just uh, being happy so yeah that's a bit about the song it's called you and i it's one of my favorite songs to sing on the EP you know i think I- you know I lay my heart on the line but I won't let it go I think about you every now and then like in the night when the day begins to lie close my
Okay, that was really nice sound. So, you know, it sounds really good even on, you know, with just an acoustic guitar. <laughs> Thank you. So you you were kind of successful in theater, right? And uh, f earlier I had tried to make you choose between, the, you know, between a theater artist and a musical artist. And you said that they go together, but I'm still going to ask you, you know, it's like if you were doing well in theater, so what made you want to be uh, an indie artist as well? Was there, was there something that, you know, that uh, indie music offered that musical theater did not, or was it something else? Uh, no, I, I, for me, actually, it was never a question of this or that because both, you know, side by side, you know, even when I was when I was doing it initially through school and college and beyond, I did them both side by side. I was always part of a band or, you know, doing my own music. And I was always part of, you know, theater and musicals in some way. Uh, musicals then became difficult to do for me because, you know, when you're studying and then you're working, Musical theater and theater per se requires a lot of time. You know, it requires a lot of rehearsals and a lot of time to, you know, uh, give. So it got kind of pushed to the side. And uh, with music and, you know, bands, it's a little easier to, you know, devote time and, you know, it's a little more flexible. And then again, I think as, you know, life progresses and you get busy with family and work and other commitments, time becomes even more of a rarity. So, you know, again, coordinating with a band became, you know, more difficult. So that kind of pushed me to go solo. And that's when I started, you know, doing music of my own. It was really out of, you know, it was because of circumstances that I said, okay, now let me try doing something on my own. Otherwise I was, I was much happier, you know, uh, singing with a band because it, was, it wasn't, uh, you know, as much because everybody else would do the hard work and you would just, you know, turn up and sing. Uh, whereas doing being a solo musician is tougher because you're you know doing everything from writing to composing to you know uh, hooking up with people and you know rehearsing and planning and spending your money and your resources so it's it's a much tougher thing to be a part of but it's also very rewarding I found so that's how it progressed for me it was never really a choice you know that okay I want to do this or that I think it was kind of dictated by my circumstances and you know what was uh, feasible and practical at the time. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, we we love the work that you've been doing. We we love your debut EP, The Ride. So can, can you tell us a little bit about that EP? How how each and every artist I mean has a, a unique sound. So how did you arrive at that sound for for The Ride? So I didn't really have any you know particular sound in mind. Honestly, um, my I only had a couple of things you know that I had in my mind that was. One was that, you know, I composed all the songs on my guitar. So I wanted to be able to sit and play all the songs on my guitar from start to finish, you know, without requiring other people and other, uh, you know, kind of uh, production aspects to really bring out the flavor of the song. So that was one basic, you know, thing that I uh, had in mind that I want to be able to pretty much reproduce the essence of the songs while I'm sitting just with a guitar. You know, that was one thing I had in mind. And secondly, I wanted to collaborate with, you know, good, like-minded musicians, you know, which I was lucky enough to do, uh, you know. So on my EP, uh, like I mentioned earlier, there was Shivam Kare who played the keyboards. There was Sonic Shori who played the bass guitar. There was Nishant Parashar who played the electric guitar. Um, the, it was produced by Onindo Bos, you know, in his studio. And... Um, uh, it featured, you know, it featured Abhay Sharma on the saxophone on one track and it featured Rohit Gupta on the trumpet on two tracks. So it was really who I really, you know, uh, you know, vibed with and who I really wanted to play on the EP. And I, I, I wanted them to bring their flavor, you know, into the EP as well. So that's how I get the sound kind of shaped up, you know. So I had nothing very particular in terms of the sound as such before I started in mind. So I guess that uh, puts us in the mood to listen to another song. So shall we listen to another one? Will it be from that EP or from uh, maybe another composition? Uh, yeah, I'll play from uh, that EP itself. I'll play the title track of the EP, The Ride. Okay. The Ride. So it's basically about, you know, it's essentially about the ride of life. You know, the ups and downs and, you know, that uh, it has a line in the song which says that what, what goes up must come down. Uh, and it goes on and on and on. 
So essentially the song was about that. So again, it was, you know, uh, born out of these, I used to, I used to keep a, a bit a journal, you know, when I was uh, doing my post-graduation uh, in Pune. And typically when I was traveling back and forth from Delhi to Pune, I would write, you know, something in the journal. So I'll play a few lines of that song. You and I will stand the test of time. We might hide away in the corners of their minds. Memories of our perfect lives will come running in when it's time to say goodbye. Yes, it all goes down in the blink of an eye. So don't run away into the night. Come around, don't waste your time. So, Ankur, you have a, another song called Better Man. And actually, the video for Better Man was selected as one of the 10 best music videos from India in uh, the 2021 in 2021 by Rolling Stone magazine. And an uh, interesting thing about, uh, about this video is that in the video, well, you play multiple characters using, using miming as uh, the theatrical medium. So... I suppose it must have been very, you know, satisfying on on both counts, both as a singer and as a theatre artist, right? And the first the first thing is that well, it got such recognition, like it got selected as one of the best, the ten best music videos. So was it really great that it got selected? It got so so much recognition from uh, you know from uh, the video for the song. It was a brilliant experience. It was uh, in fact made by this uh, very good friend of mine. Uh, this filmmaker and photographer called Mrinal Bhokhandi. He, in fact, he and I were in uh, in college together in Pune. You know, we did our mass communication together. And he is a very talented uh, photographer and filmmaker. So we got talking and, uh, you know, he liked my music and uh, we were just kind of chatting about it. And uh, we said, why don't we do a video? So, in fact, he did two videos for me, uh, you know, if, uh, he did the video for this this song that I sang, The Ride. And then he also did the video for Better Man. So, Better Man was like absolutely a brilliant concept of a video, you know, which he came up with. So, he is, is essentially a film photographer, you know. So, that video is made using around 4,000 black and white film photographs, you know. So, it's uh, this process called stop motion. So it's essentially stop motion uh, uh, animation of, you know, 4,000 photographs that he clicked, uh, you know, of me doing whatever I'm doing in the video. So it was an incredible amount of work for the crew, you know, that handled the video. Not so much for me because I was shooting just for a couple of days. Uh, but uh, it was a really fantastic 
uh, you know, very creatively done uh, project, you know, uh, by uh, Brunal and his team. And uh, yeah, thankfully it paid off. You know, we got a lot of uh, good feedback and, you know, the awards that came later were also absolutely brilliant. So that was a great experience. Okay. So, all right. All the best to you, Anna. Looking forward to more music from you. So now I guess we can listen to one of those originals again. So would you care to introduce and then sing us another song of yours? Sure. I'll sing a bit of Better Man, uh, the song we spoke about again from my last EP. Yeah. Yes, I know. I see it everywhere I go. All right. Thank you so much, Ankur. So lovely having you here on uh, Hashtag the Blue Mic. And uh, well, all the very best to you. And uh, we hope that uh, whether in theater or in music, you'll, you'll always be able to come out on top, do the things that you love to do. And in all that also, you know, entertain all of us. So thank you so much for being here on the Blue Mic. Thanks very much. It was my pleasure.